We will be talking about the Easter books we will be reading this month in April for Easter. It's Easter Day from VeggieTales. VeggieTales loves everything about Easter, especially the candies and dying eggs. But when they know that the reason to celebrate is that Jesus rose from the dead on Easter Day. Simple text and bright color artwork. Share your favorite VeggieTales characters to help little ones ones that Easter is about Jesus our Savior. And this is pretty cool. It is uh, got great artwork it teaches you all about Jesus our Savior, but it also shows that you can still do the candy and the dying eggs and everything too. Just need to know that the dying eggs and the Easter bunny and all that is, is the fun part and it Jesus rising is the uh, important part you need to remember. And when I was going to church as a little kid, we did both. And I like that. Um, Easter Sunday is the Bear and St. Bear's Bear family, all their friends and family, and even the nature all around them dresses in their Easter best for the Easter Sunday celebration at the ch chapel in the woods. Join Mama Bear, Papa Bear, Brother, Sister, and Honey Bear as they go to service and have Easter hunt and learn about Easter. It's all about. This one's pretty cool. You learn all about the true meaning of Easter. Um, they do an Easter egg hunt in this one, and instead of finding co brightly colored eggs and candy, you they put together a theme from Noah's art. So that was pretty cool. And every Christian Barrington member has a little verse, and that's a pretty, pretty cute book. They have them put together in Noah's art. I love the Barrington Bears. And it pairs nicely with the original Baron's Name Bears because we got this one before you knew there were Christian ones. So, and this one has the big question and the real Easter egg. And the big question is two, two heartwarming my first time books about everybody's favorite bear family written by an illustrator Dan, by Stan and Jan Berenstein. Join bears as they reflect on the big question about their place in the world, big wide world, and discover the true meaning of Easter. It's pretty cool. The big question is about who is, she asks who is God and all that stuff, and the real Easter is about learning that it's really a, a time to celebrate nature, like animals being born and stuff. It's pretty cool. There's two books in one, so it's pretty cool. I got this at Target. They still have this, so if you want to get it, go to Target. Um, the Easter Egg Parade. Spring is here. The sun is shining. The Bears, Berenstain Bears, are getting ready for Easter Parade. It's everything except Brother Bear, who just can't seem to get in a good spirit. What will bring the smile on Brother Bear's face during that, this happy Easter celebration? That's a pretty cool book. I, I highly recommend any Berenstain Bear, whether it's Christian or not. They pair nicely together. Berenstain Bear's Baby Easter Bunny. It's a lift the flat book. My son loves lift the flat book. And this one is Easter morning. The cubs find the best surprise of all in their Easter basket. Tiny baby bunny. When the bear family goes on an Easter egg hunt, the bunny has an idea of its own. It wants to find other Easter babies. Join brother, sister, and baby Easter bunny as they explore the flower patch, leafy bushes, and even farmer Ben's chicken coop to search for spring babies. With the flaps on each page to open, reveal different animals hiding underneath. Uh, we also read There Was No Lady Who Swallowed a Chick. We're trying to collect at least one for every holiday. They're cute and little. This one was from when I was a kid. We need to have the chocolate rabbit was invented. Chocolate, chocolate rabbit was invented. Pretty cool. It. Just it's good. It's talking to you about Easter and how tradition started with the Easter bunny or Easter rabbit, whatever. But it's pretty cool. It's a cute little book. This one was from when I was a kid, and I liked it, so my you know, son read it. Uh, we got Little Critter. We have two Little Critter books. We have it is, It's Easter Little Critter, and it's just a simple little flip the flap. Yeah. Absolutely love it.
love it. This one is Little Critter is excited for Easter morning. He wakes up to find presents from Mom and Dad and a bunny named Ed. But there is much to, to be done before Little Critter goes out and plays. Join Little Critter as he makes Easter baskets and cards and paints eggs and more. Lift the flaps and find out what Easter surprise is in store. And this one is a golden book. It's called Happy Easter Little Critter. And it's about simple Easter. And it's all about Easter egg hunt and and helping little helping little critters who are smaller than him find eggs that they can't. It's really cool. Look here. Um, Peppa Pig. Peppa's Easter egg hunt. And it's springtime and pe and Papa Pig has organized an Easter egg hunt for Peppa and his friends. Join Peppa, Rebecca Rabbit, and Freddy Fox as they search for chocolate eggs and get springtime surprise. I highly recommend these Peppa Pig books if you haven't read them. Simple, they're little, and brightly colored, and they always keep my son's attention. And who doesn't love books about pigs and different animals? Oh, here's one of my favorites, Happy Easter Biscuit! It's a Lift the Flat book. And it's about Biscuit's first Easter egg hunt is going to be egg-tastic, so special. Where are all the eggs hidden? Lift the flap to find out. We are reading Curious Joy. It's Easter. George has so much fun helping the children dye eggs, but when he sees a man losing the eggs they have stuck with, George decides to help only a monkey can. He doesn't get the idea of Easter egg hunts, so he goes around finding all the eggs and the children get mad, but then he helps hide them and fixes his mistake. Look at the graphics. The graphics are gorgeous. I really like the book. Um, Pep, uh, Pete the Cat, Big Easter Adventure. When Pete wakes up on Easter morning, he finds that the Easter Bunny needs his help. Read along to find out if Pete can help the Easter Bunny before Easter is over. Story comes complete with posters, punch out cards, and stickers. And it's this. Easter bunnies, dying eggs, giving eggs and stuff. It's really cute little adventure. Um, this was my son's first Peter Rabbit book. And then he got this one. This one tells the full story, full words and everything. This is the baby uh, cardboard version. And he got the cardboard version, which I kind of like a little bit better. Because sometimes kids don't have a long attention span and the pictures are slow on each page. So, anyway, they're both really good Peter Rabbit books. Uh, we have Pete, I mean, Biscuits, Pet and Play, Easter. These are such a real book to give your kids a tactile functional feel. These are the books for them. My son loves to feel these books. Clifford's first Easter, my mom got this for him when he turned one, so it says Easter. Guess who Easter Elmo? Guess who is hopping in the Easter chair? It's Elmo, and he's looking for the most colorful eggs to find. And up finding all his best friends along the way, readers I will long for the adventure and the adorable book that compares to hide and seek activities with li and lift the flap. Lift flap. Pretty cute little book. We like it. Happy Easter Mouse. This is a pretty cool book. They hide different colored eggs. Um, you decorate the eggs and they hide different colored eggs by the rabbit. And it, he does it color coded. So, like. He first he had the yellow eggs, then he had some red eggs and stuff, so this is really good for uh, recognizing your colors. Dogly stuffing bunny in a basket. 
for today with the flat book. It is, it's Easter and Doc and her toys can't wait to start the Easter egg hunt. But when Alma loses her favorite stuffed bunny, Pickles, Doc knows nothing more important than helping Joe. And it's pretty cool that she spends all the time looking for the bunny and helping her find the bunny that she doesn't actually find the eggs. But then her toys show up and it's like, we found the most, the most eggs. And last but not least, little people, it's Easter here. Um, Disney makes them this size. Some other people make some this size. I highly recommend these. With the flat book, you. It's very educational. You learn a lot. And this one is Easter is coming, and Ed, Emma, and all our friends can't wait. Kids will love joining the little people as they color eggs. Practical to Easter parade. Open oh, to Easter parade, and even get a glimpse inside the Easter Bunny toy shop with more than 55 surprise flaps to lift and fun activities to move through. It's Easter here. It will be the fastest favorite holiday day. So the people cool. the, the book has like little things flaps and stuff. Um, my son loves these. We have some from Disney. We have some from Little People. We love these flat books. So that is every Easter book we will be reading this month. Thank you. Have a great day. If there's any Easter book favorites that you have, please link them below so I can click them for next year. Thank you. Have a great day.